morning, good afternoon, good evening, Linux lovers and everyone around the world. My name is Walid Hassan, and here is my next video in Linux Capsules channel. We are still within the second capsule. What we can do with what is called files. Section 3. Managing files. As described in Section 1, all files on a Linux system are stored on file systems which are organized into a single inverted tree of directories known as a file system hierarchy. And in Section 2, we have described the two things that are used for locating files, the absolute path and relative path. Now, let's talk about managing files. File management involves creating, deleting, copying, and moving files. Additionally, directories can be created, deleted, copied, and moved to help organize files logically. When working at the command line, file management requires awareness of the current working directory. To choose either absolute or relative path syntax as most efficient for the immediate task. Let's maximize the terminal and let's see how we can manage files and directories. First of all, know your current working directory using pwd command which is printing the currently working directory. The default one is slash home slash username. In that case, it's capsule one. As we know from previous videos, to create a directory, we use mkdir command, then provide the directory name. And also we can provide the default path where that directory should be located. For example, let's create a test dir1 here. Test dir1 ls the directory has been created test dir1. Let's try to create the same directory using the full path. mk dir slash home capsule one slash test tire two the directory was successfully created ls will display the content of the current working directory and here it is test tire two what if we missed something from the path for example one let's try it mk dire slash home slash capsule without number one, then test dire three. The command will fail because it will check if that path exists before creating the directory. Let's press enter and see what will happen. The command failed and the message cannot create directory slash home slash capsule slash test directory no such file or directory which means that the system cannot find this path but if we are sure that we want to create that directory test directory with this full path to do this we should use an option the option is dash p Let's choose another directory as slash temp to create that path. So, for example, I will do mkdir slash tmp slash capsule slash test dir 3. Again, the command will fail because the system will check if that path exists. If not, it will fail as in our case. Cannot create directory slash temp slash capsule slash test dire 
factory. But if we want to force the system to create the full path I have mentioned before, like this one, we can use option-p in the command mkdir. So let's put dash p keeping spaces between mkdir, the option dash p, and the full path. This will force the system to create under slash temp directory a new directory and will call it capsule, then create within that directory test directory. I will press enter. Now the command finished successfully. Let's do ls slash tmp capsule enter. Here is the directory test directory. Let's simulate that again. ls slash temp slash capsule one. No such file or directory. Let's try to create this dial four under slash temp capsule one this dial four with dash p as an option. Press enter directory created ls slash temp slash capsule one it exists and within it this dial four so dash p will force creating the full path if it does not exist. You can create multiple directories in such one command. For example, I will try mkdir dash p slash temp slash capsule one slash test dir five. Then use the same but replace capsule one with capsule two and the same slash temp slash capsule three slash test dire five. This will create the full path then the directory for each of them if it does not exist. So let's press enter. Command finished successfully. Let's do ls slash tmp capsule then double tap will display all directories which exist with any character after capsule. Here, for example, it displayed capsule, then capsule one, capsule two and three. To do listing for the content of the whole directories, we can put asterisks, then press enter. Now it's listing the content of each of those directories. Now let's try to create files within those directories. To create files, we know that we can use touch command. Then the location of that file, slash tmp, slash for example capsule one, slash test dire five, then the file name test file one. TXT. Again, we can mention multiple files in just one command. For example, tmp capsule 2 test dire 5 test file 1.txt. This will touch two files under those directories. Let me clear the screen before testing. The content so ls slash tmp slash capsule asterisk slash test dir five then enter now it shows the files that we have created under capsule one and capsule two.